a good run for their money here tonight. So, Mr. Volanti gets this match underway. We're live and exclusive on Sky Sports here at the new Craven Park on Humberside. Long kick down the middle from Les Holiday, collected by Bright Sodji in such a rich vein of scoring form when last we saw him at Wakefield earlier this season, only about three weeks ago. But Mike, a big match for both these two sides. Yes, they're both desperate for those two points. They really have to get uh, into the game very early. I mentioned before the kickoff that Witness, they're not playing as a team, where that has been one of the greatest strengths of the Rovers side. They really do have good team spirit. Yes, the hometown boys have gelled under George Fur, but no wonder they've given him a new contract here for the next two years. Grimmer and uh, Mike Fletcher tangling, and referee Mr. Valanti quite rightly pitting Grimmer for this incident here. Well, there's no doubt about it there. You see, you pushed him away. Referee on the spot, straight on. So, penalty to Rovers. Right on halfway. Hallis takes play up towards the witness 22. And there is uh, Des Harrison. Him and his brother, we mentioned this at Wakefield a few weeks ago, they are alike as two peas in the pod. That now is Paul Fletcher. Good run from him. Tackled by Hume and for Milo. This now is Speckman. Paul Hume already getting through a ton of work in the tackling department. Now the other of the two Harrisons. The driving run brought to ground by two witness defenders. It's the last tackle. Witness will have to get this uh, defence sorted out. They're hanging back. They're allowing the Rovers to come at them. High kick from Mike Fletcher. That really is a test of the Spruce, the new fullback. He's dropped it. The ball's gone all over the place, but the referee says knock on. As Rovers thought they were touching down. It's a real test of the Spruce, this. Well, it was a good kick right into the post. It's bad for the fullback there, but quite frankly, they were lucky not to give away a four-pointer there. He was all at sea there with Stuart Spruce. Good tackling this on Paul Hume. Lyman coming in to lend a bit of weight. Referee right on the spot. Rovers appealing for Baptist from Paul Hume. The waves play on. McCurry who clung on to that one. This now is David Hume. Well, there's very little doubt that uh, Hume did throw the elbow or the fist or something and make contact. Ball cleared downfield. This now is Soji. Great round of applause every time Soji gets the ball. That's Chris Harrison. Lee Richardson. And the other Harrison Dares, these two prop forwards really will see plenty of it early on. The scrum half is Gary Chatfield. That's a good ball to Lyman. Lyman on a great run here. He's trying to take on Hume. Hume and Darren Wright equal to the task. Lovely break by Lyman there, but it just gives you the problems that witness have. They're hanging off. Oh, and that's a forward. Well, Harrison not convinced. Well, it looked touch and go, but full credit to the referee, he was there. Harrison not impressed. But really, Eddie, this witness defence, if they don't sort it out, they're going to be in awful trouble. David Hume feeds the scrum, referee's whistle sounds, not happy. Remember this Rover's first home game since January the 19th. Balls come out on the Rovers side, one against the head, but the referee penalising the Rovers hooker. So penalty to witness, and interestingly enough, it looks like it might be Devereaux who's going to be taking the kicks tonight. He kicked well at uh, Headingley last week, didn't he? Unbelievable, and uh, why not? Should he continue in that vein? Believe you me, Witness will want to look to board another three tries from him this tonight. Grimmer 
good tackling that though again by Rovers coming up to five minutes gone nil nil Hume and now for Milo typical foraging barging run from the New Zealand international Richie Ayres rise of forward pass referee will bring that play back for the first knock on well it was a real big impact there and the impact came late he just dropped it probably numbed him slightly <laughs> oh that really was a big hit and Sochi couldn't uh, develop the move further this now is Dean Clark oh that's a great run from Clark the Kiwi he's got support from his captain Fletcher but good tackling by Devro brings him down witness have got a job on here Lyman Devro again the man doing the tackling Ball's dropped, Paul Hume drops on it, and then a combination of Richardson and Paul Fletcher drop on him, and illegally. Well, it was a good try by Speckman to try to keep the ball alive that Witness got there. This is the reason why the penalty was given. You can see the hooker, Richardson, knees in the back, not allowed to do that. Penalty, finds touch, 2-1 on the penalty count in Witness's favour. Nil-nil on the scoreboard. Hume and Grimmer straight into Harrison. And he had his legs lifted by number 12, uh, Andy Thompson, for Milo. Drops it. Well, errors all over the place tonight. Oh, the referee said that went back. Now, did it. Make your own mind up. Well, the ball was reefed away. No doubt about it, the whole KR did knock it forward. Knock it out of him, should I say. Well, there you can see he's in charge, isn't he? He is, and while we're watching that replay, this is what happened. Witness on the attack, but the ball going nowhere and goes out. So players restarted courtesy of the scrum. And Rovers back in possession. I think he lost that ball then. He was lucky to get that back. Richardson feeds the other Harrison. Number eight is Chris, number ten is theirs. That's Chris. This is Richardson again, on his own from the dummy half position. Well, I'm sure the coach, Myler, will be getting the message out to them very quickly to tighten up this defence. Witness, it's awful. High kick again from Chatfield to Tess Bruce. Did that come off Spruce's foot?